Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to use Blender to create some gold textured text. So let's open up Blender. And like usual, we'll click on general, we'll click on the cube and delete that. We'll click on the light source and hit the delete key to delete that as well. Let's go to file, save as. And then on my desktop, I've got this folder that we're going to call this gold text-01. Let's save this. Then we will press number seven on our keyboard. That takes us to the top view. Number seven, we'll press shift A and we're going to insert some text. So let's insert some text here. We'll press tab to edit the text and you can type anything you like. I'm going to just type in gold text like this. Maybe I'll do it all in capitals. Let's see, uh, gold text. So you type in anything you like here. I'm using that text there. We'll click here to select the object data. We'll go to the font and we'll click, uh, we need, actually need to download the font first. So let's do that quickly. Let's open up our web browser and we'll open up this folder. Then we'll create a folder inside. In fact, we don't need to do that. Let's just go to uh, free. We'll go to this website. I'll put a link to this website in the YouTube description. Let's make some little notes here. So we're looking for some gold text. You can type in the word gold text here and then all the fonts will display with that particular text written in there. And we're looking for something quite chunky like this, something like this. So we'll click download here. Let's click on that text and I'll put a link to this particular font in the YouTube description. So we downloaded the font, we'll drag and drop it into this directory, we'll right click and we'll use any sort of extraction tool just to unzip the file. So we'll unzip it, we can then delete the zip file and rename this uh, folder to font. And then we need a HDRI image, so we'll make a new folder and call it HDRI. We'll have to download that quickly. Let's go to free, uh, free. Uh, let's go to HDRI. We'll go to HDRI Haven. We'll click on the Brass 200, and I'm going to download the usual font I have, which is in nighttime. Not font, the HDRI image. This one here. So I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description as well. And we'll download a few of these and see what they look like. Let's download 8K this time. Normally download 4K, let's see if 8K makes a difference. And we'll also download, uh, let's do, let's pick something a bit random today. Let's do something like um, this one here. So we'll download those two. Let's actually pick this one. So I'll put a link to this also in the YouTube description. So we'll go to this and download AK. We'll open up the HDRI folder and we drag and drop this text, this uh, HDRI map in here. We'll have to wait for this one to finish. We'll drag and drop them both in here. Then we'll go to Blender. We've got our text here and we've got our font. So we'll click on the text then click here, then click the open folder here under font. We'll select the font, let's select this one, go inside this folder, select this particular font, click open. Now you can see the text has changed. We'll set the size to two, we'll make it a bit bigger and we'll set the spacing here to 1.1. Then we'll go to the uh, geometry. Let's just pan to the side here a little bit and we'll set the extrusion to 0 0.2 should be fine. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put a bevel on this one. So we'll press X on our, well actually let's press R to rotate, then X, then 90. So we're just gonna rotate in 90. You can click on the text here, click here and just type 90 in here as well. That'll do the same thing. Go to object, set origin, geometry to origin. That will center it out here. Um, then we'll press number three on our keyboard. That takes us into the right orthographic. We'll click move and we'll drag this up so that it's above the green line here. So that's sitting above the green line. And now we want to set up our HDRI lighting and then we'll do something with this text. So let's go to shading. Let's go to the world settings. And in the world settings, we want to press shift A. So press shift A and search for background. So type in background, click background and you've got two backgrounds now. Press shift A, shader, uh, not shader, texture and environmental. So we want environmental texture, shift A. Then we want vector mapping, then shift A, and we want input texture coordinates, and then finally shift A, input 
light path then press shift a one more time and we want a mix shader here on the shader mix shader plug that into in between these two grab the background plug that into here generate it into the vector vector into the vector here color into the color here and then there is camera at the top here into the factor over here then click open go to the hdri folder and select one of your hdri maps that you downloaded and click open you can go to the render view now and we should see our hdri map uh, yep so we've got some text in here illuminated with this hdri lighting so we'll improve this uh, in a moment so let's go back to the layout and we'll click on this text here and we'll go to object convert to a mesh object here so that's a mesh object so if we go to object edit we can see it's mesh but it's not a very good mesh it's a bit rubbish so we'll fix that by going back to the object mode here go to the modifier add modifier and we're going to remesh here and when we click remesh we need to untick this option remove disconnected pieces so untick that and set it to eight eight should be a good number here then click apply and then if we go back to edit mode we can see it's all been created the mesh has been created like this and this is going to help us a little bit later so let's go back to object mode Let's go back into the shading and then we'll click on the world here and select object. Now we're going to click on this object and click new. Now we've got a new shader for this particular text and we want to reshade it. So let's create the shader for it. We're going to create a similar gold shader that we created before in one of my other tutorials. So we'll press shift A and we want a, uh, let's see, we want a converter color ramp. We'll press shift A. And we want a noise texture so let's do a noise texture noise texture here then shift a and we want musgrave texture musgrave is here and then shift a and we want a vector bump here like this then we'll connect the normal to the normal here we'll connect the color to the base color here we'll connect uh, this factor to the vector here we'll connect the factor to the factor here and then this factor to the height here like this then we'll get this text with this sort of uh, effect on it right so we want to change that effect so we'll set the um, let's zoom in here a little bit so you can see it a bit easier the scale here we're going to set to 0 0.7 then the detail will set to 2.2 and then the dimensions we're going to leave alone all of these settings here will leave them as default the noise texture we're going to set to 1.1 so now we're trying to get this sort of effect on the text it's a bit more smoothed out and then the detail will set to 7.9 it's got a bit more detail in there probably reduce that a little bit actually let's see let's set it to around 7 for now we might change that afterwards and then the color on this side We'll click on the white handle and select the color and let's make it like a sort of gold color something like this i think that's going to be okay and then let's just try and set this to it's not going to make much difference so you can set it to b spline if you want you don't really need to do that but let's just do that anyway and then in the bump here we'll set this to we need to bring this right down so we want to set this to like 0 0.07 something like that quite low and then set the distance to 4.8 and let's just go to file save before we do anything else and i think that's okay but let's just switch to our other hdri map so let's click in fact before we do anything else let's um set the metallic all the way up so we've got some nice shiny gold text now let's turn the specular off and then set the roughness down to around zero point i think zero point two is going to be looking pretty cool so we've got it around zero point two i think this map is going to be okay but we might experiment with that but let's quickly go back to the uh, world settings here and then in this background at the bottom this background down here we can change the background color so we can change it to any color we like but i want to make it like a really sort of 
let's just make it let's just make it black i think it'll look good in black let's click here on render let's go to the layout and let's click on the render view here so we can see our text in here and we'll click on the render settings here turn on the bloom and we'll set the threshold all the way down this knee will bring down the radius will bring down and then the intensity will bring up so we get some nice shines off of the text now right So let's go to file save that's our first version and we're going to make a slightly different version now as well so you can go and animate this you can spin it around you can do whatever you want basically with this text if you follow some of my other tutorials you know how to you know play around with a camera and zoom in and out and do whatever you want we might make a little animation um, in the second version of this tutorial but let's go to file save let's go to file save as and we're going to make a version 2 so we've got gold text dash 02 let's click save and what we want to do is click on the text, go to the modifier and click add modifier. And then we want to add a wireframe. Now you almost got like this diamond gold text. And if you zoom right in, you'll see that you've got these little ridges. Let's turn off the overlays and you better see it a bit clearer. Let's see, let's zoom right into here. You can see you've got this now, this sort of texture on, on the text. And from a distance, it looks like look diamonds, right? Or something like that. It's like gold with diamonds in it. So I think that's pretty cool. That would make a really nice font for some animation, I guess. And then you can go and experiment. You can play around with the colors, play around with the settings. You can add additional colors in here. So if you go back to the shader and then in the uh, object settings, you can click the plus sign here, right here where my mouse is. Let's zoom in, click on that plus sign. Now you've got three handles. You can click on the middle handle and you can put in another color here as well. You can get like a green in there can have green and gold so worth sometimes worth turning off the overlays so you can see things a bit clearer now you've got a mixture of like this yellow and gold you can switch them around as well so you can drag this one all the way to this end then um, you can go and experiment with the different colors you can drag the black handle across as well to darken it down all right so you can get more black in there as well and it's ready for you to go and experiment now with this and I think it's looking pretty good let's just go back to our layer and check it I'm quite happy with that so that's how you make this gold textured uh, text and you can put any sort of font any sort of font text in here um, and you can go and experiment so that's a nice simple easy tutorial I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I found it quite interesting to make this text it's using a combination of a few different um, modifiers here and I'll leave you to go and experiment with that so let's save this let's minimize this and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial